Good morning. This is Breakfast with the Bishop. This is uh, Evangelist David Marvel. Past, I'm not the bishop, as you can see. He's on uh, the road evangelizing and doing bishop things. So uh, well, let's just go to the Word, and uh, it's just good to have you today. And may the Lord bless you. Uh, if you got your Bibles, or if you don't, let me just read it to you in Ephesians 4 and 3. Endeavoring to keep the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. And, and we hear all the time about unity. Uh, but we need the unity of the Spirit. Uh, there's so much division and so much uh, people divided over this and that. But uh, we need to get the Spirit back in the church, guiding the church again. And uh, one way that, that has happened through, uh, whether it's this administration, other administrations, I'm not going to get into that today, but we've got to come to the place that uh, unity of the Spirit as uh, Nehemiah built a wall, and God's called us all to be like a wall uh, and, and to join together and be, and be one. But if you take one block out of that wall, it doesn't do what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to protect us, but it's also supposed to hold us together. And, and uh, here it talks about endeavoring to keep the unity and the bond of peace. Peace is nothing missing, nothing broken. God wants to heal the brokenhearted and set the captive free. When Jesus came off, out of, he got baptized, he went to the mountain and he was tempted by the enemy for 40 days. He went through the temptation and come off, he went into the synagogue, or can I say it in today's terms, he went into the church. And, and how many out there know, uh, he's not just talking about a church building, but into us. And he said, I came to heal the broken hearted, to set the captive sea, recover your sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. And God wants to bring that. But we've even within ourselves, we've got to have unity with the Spirit. And we've, sometimes our flesh, we want our desires more than the desires of what God wants. And it, it causes a, a division there. And... I was taught growing up, uh, uh, you know, even in the local church, there's been so much uh, going on in churches today and so much division that th there's only one supervisor. As I go to my job or whatever, I have a supervisor. And, and, or can I say it this way? The supervision. And the Spirit's what gives us the supervision. Uh, or can I say it this way? It's one that guides and directs us. The Holy Ghost is the one that leads us and guides us into all truth. And truth will make you free. And it, he, he says in his word, uh, If you continue in my word, ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free, or make you free. And, and God wants his people to be free. But it comes through unity, or can I say this, becoming one with him. He prayed in, uh, for us. In uh, John, or in yeah, John 17, when he was at Gethsemane, he prayed, "Lord, make them one, even as me and you are one." God wants His people to be one, but first, we got we all know that God wants us to be one uh, with Him, but He also wants us to be one with one another, and and, and oneness don't mean you're always going to agree. Uh, my pastor, Fred Stapleton, from Cornerstone Covenant Church in Hudson, North Carolina, has spoke a word before and said it like this. He, uh, he said uh, that we must go on and in, 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 to be one. Uh, we, in, like in the book of Ephesians, we must first, like it says right here, have unity of the Spirit. But later on it says to have unity of the faith. We're not always going to agree. But before we can totally agree and sit down and understand the Word, we got to learn to uh, have that one spirit and, and agree in His Spirit. Because there's been too much fighting and too much backbiting and too much wanting our ways instead of God's ways. And, and God wants us to come to that place to where we just love Him. And we magnify Him. And there's another scripture in Colossians, uh, I believe it's 
3 and 14 that says that we might have uh, the bond of perf uh, love in perfectness. In other words, there's two things that causes us to, have to make that wall that I was talking about. And in that wall, you know, there's brick. But in that brick, there's a bond there that, that causes us not just, you know, it separates us, but it holds us together. And, and, and it's, it's like concrete uh, uh, and a joint. If you've ever done block work, it's like joint. And it causes us to, to be individuals, but it causes us to be separate too. Because we all have gifts and callings, but we're all part of each other. And we all, I am needful of you. And, uh, but we got to have love and peace. We got to have God's love and His peace, and, and and that's what God's wanting. His His love. My love can be finicky. I can love you one day maybe, and not love you next. But God, if God's having His love through me, then I'll love you at all times, no matter what. And, and, and you know the Bible says uh, it's greater to love you, whether you agree with me or not. We've got to learn to find common ground. And that don't mean, that don't mean there, that, you know, I just believe everything. That means it's on the Lord Jesus Christ and that He guides us and leads us and His Spirit guides us and leads us. And God wants to take us. But just like a, a child grows up, uh, we have, we're, we're dependent upon that mother for milk and clothes and changing and it works the same way. But as we get older, we learn, we get, we go through that independent teenager stage, and we think we know everything. And, and God, but when we begin to mature in the things of God, we begin to understand we are part of the family. We are, we, I have, you know, I have kids, and I have a wife that I love dearly, uh, Kathy Marvel, and I love her uh, uh, much with all my heart. And, but that don't mean we always agree. But that don't mean we're never, we're ever divorced, or we're ever even think about divorce or separation or dividing, because God, because I'm part of that family, I'm in that family, and that's called being interdependent. It's like that block in that wall. You, you've got the block, but then, but then, in totality, I'm part of the whole body or the whole wall. And that's what God wants. You know, when Nehemiah uh, began to build the wall, he said it like this. I am in the lower parts, but me as my family is in the higher parts. We've got to learn that many times that we as God's people have got to come to that place where the corporate body means more than our individual self. And that's only by the Spirit. And it's been great to be with you, but I want to pray for you as we go off. Lord Jesus, God, we ask you, God, just to move, God. Move for the brokenhearted. Move for those, God, that, that are hurting, God. And move for those, God. I feel like you want to give somebody direction, God. And God, give them direction as they're hearing this or, or whatever, God. God, we ask you to put churches back together, put peoples back together, put relationships back together, God. And we give you all the glory and honor in Jesus' name. We love you, and until next time, God bless.